Hi friends, this video is all about how to upgrade your laptop. I have Sony Vaio Flip laptop which I use almost for all my work. I was really very happy with my laptop until I started doing video editing. Usually 8GB memory is more than enough to run any kind of applications. But if I have a Chrome browser open to upload video to YouTube and audio processing software open and if I would like to do video editing, the editing software would not stop crashing and this happened with me many times and that's why I decided to upgrade my laptop. One thing to keep in mind before buying RAM for your laptop is that they are of different types. Unless your laptop is very old, it has DDR3 or DDR4, then they, then they are available in different speeds. Uh, you might have low voltage version ddr 3 like the one I have. So refer to your laptop menu for the one that works for you. I have brought uh, HyperX DDR3L 16GB RAM and let's go through the upgrading process together. Let's upgrade my Sony Vaio convertible flip laptop. This laptop can be used both in laptop and tablet mode. Disconnect all the external devices attached to the laptop. Unplug the power cord and adapter. Turn the laptop upside down and place it on a flat surface. It has 4 main screws, 4 more screws under the rubber strip and one under each of the rubber feet. I am using trying tool to remove the rubber strip and rubber feet. Time to remove all the screws, 4 main screws, 4 under rubber strips and 1 under, 1 screw under each of the rubber feet. Make sure you place the screws separately so as to avoid any confusion as all the screws are not of the same type. Having a magnetic screwdriver helps to lift out the screws. Remove the back assembly cover with the help of prying tool. Having the right tool helps to make the process easier. Now we get the access to the neatly placed internal assembly. Remove the existing RAM by placing the hinges outward. This laptop comes with two Hynix 4GB module. I am using two HyperX Impact 8GB modules. Now match the slot in the RAM with the slot on the motherboard. Put the RAM into the motherboard slot at approximately 45 degree 
press it down until the hinges snap do the same for the other module Under this we have the CPU connected via heat pipe to the cooling fan, two RAM slots, hard drive, battery, left and right speaker and a network card. Align the back assembly cover with the notches on the laptop and press on all the edges to snap them into place. First place all the screws properly and then tighten them. And now finally the moment of truth. Let's see if the laptop boots up. I hope you found this video useful and informative. Do like and subscribe. Bye bye.